team, can you see me? Hello, happy Sunday. Um, today is November 10th. Um, I'm about to, it's about 3 p.m. I'm about to meet Brandy. We are going to, I think she has some returns or something. There's some new shops opening up at um, North Hills where we like to like hang a little bit. So we're just gonna pop around there. Maybe do a little bit of Christmas shopping maybe, I think. Um, we haven't seen each other in like maybe two weeks. So we just wanted to get together. I don't have to work with the kiddos tomorrow so I had a little extra time today. I don't have to be like rushed to try, not rushed, but you know, I don't have to be just in the house relaxing, trying to get my mind right. <laughs> It takes me a whole day to be ready to work with the kids. Not that they're bad or anything. It's just I'm not used to working every single day um, with children anymore. So, and working with kids daily takes a lot out of you. I remember that when I was younger, and I'm not as young as I used to be, so I get tired quick, quick, quicker um, working with them. But anyway, I. Just did a sit down video, kind of like an update where I've been. Cause it's been about a couple of weeks since I did a sit down video. I did a maybe a, maybe more like three weeks to a month that I've done a sit down video, but I did upload a vlog probably about two weeks, two to three weeks ago. So that sit down video should be up now. If it's not, I'll explain it here, <laughs> but it should be up um, there. So yeah, we're we're on our way to to hobnob a little bit, maybe grab a light bite or a drink. Um, Jordan is cooking pasta tonight, so when I get back, that should be done. So I'm gonna eat at home, and that's it. I hope you guys are doing well. It's about 60 degrees today, so I have on my scarf. I have on all black. I have on just my scarf. I have my little leather moto jacket over here because I didn't know which one I wanted to wear. I wore that one to church because it was cooler this morning. It's not that cool right now, but the temp is going to drop. So that's why I kind of threw this around my neck. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you guys are well. Um, my hair is really curly today. I did kind of like a dry curl on the dryer type thing. It and then I use those like foam rollers or curlers set under the dryer to, to set it. And um, it came out kind of a little frizzy, but it's cute. Um, because I didn't want to put a whole bunch of like foam on my hair, I don't like that. I don't like that the way that makes my hair feel, but um, it's workable. So, all right, I'll pick up the camera in a few once we get back once I get over there with Brandy but I'll see you guys shortly alrighty we're in here let's get sister on the vlog are we going to Maywell? you look so cute so she's so so is she my sister? Hi. <laughs> sister on the vlog. Hey friends. I didn't vlog because I forgot and we were talking and catching up, but Jordan cooked. So she's not feeling good. So and our oh, Christmas tray is up. Good morning team. Good morning. Today is Monday, November 11th. Happy Veterans Day. We're going to vlog in today. I have a doctor's appointment for um, to check on my a post op appointment for my hand. Um, then let me turn this off because I want to get copyrighted and I'm watching YouTube. But it has some of that lo-fi music on. Yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted, but I'm doing laundry. You may hear the laundry um, in the background being processed or whatever, starting. I just started laundry. 
folding my laundry from yesterday because I just didn't feel like it. And yeah, when I got back from being out with Brandy, I ate, um, even though we had a snack while we was out, but I ate again. <laughs> I ate dinner. Jordan cooked some noodles. I think I'm gonna have that for breakfast. Um, get some coffee and yeah. It's Veterans Day, did I say that? Happy Veterans Day to my husband. He's an army vet and everyone else. Thank you for your service for this ratchet, raggedy country. So thank you for that. Um, I haven't talked about the election, but I don't think I need to, cause Y'all know where I stand. I mean, you might not know where I stand, but I, I you know where I stand. <laughs> and not because I'm black, but no, yeah, because I am black. Because, you know, it was either vote for the continuation of what we call democracy or put a racist in office. So, you know, but we see we did it anyway, so. I'm just not going to go there. Brandy and I had a healing session yesterday. We saw some. We were out. She saw a couple of people that she knew. Um, we asked some random people how they were feeling. Did they vote? And it's just amazing how people now want to talk about politics. Because we typically don't. Which I, I And I was one of them. You, know, you don't talk about politics and religion. You just don't. But no, you do. These are the conversations you need to you need to have because I think the more we talk about our fears, our hopes, our dreams with one another, I think we can kind of come to some kind of commonplace and then we all can really collectively put the proper people in office. I don't know. It's probably wishful thinking at this point, but I don't know. But yeah, we're not gonna. Um, I watched Coco, McC Coco McQueen Ashley. I watched her vlog. I'll link it here or either down below. She went into a little bit of detail. I think she did a couple of TikToks about the election, um, and I really enjoyed her commentary. So again, I'll link that down below and. Um, politics and fashion i think she's going live today i'm gonna watch her she had some things but yeah i've some people unfollowed me when they realized that but it's like i don't know why you didn't know already <laughs> some people unfollowed me because when they realized my voting choice and my voting style my husband and i was talking to him about it of course and i said just if we could just briefly put race to the side this country does not want to see a woman lead hillary kamala it's like we can always do secondary and then he's gonna pick a woman to be his chief of staff to pretty much help him run the white house and to you know what i mean your chief of staff and your press secretary and things like that they are high ranking positions in the white house um, we've had several women as Secretary of State, you know, we've, we've done that in both, um, parties, they've done that. Speaker of the House, it's okay that we're in a secondary role, as long as we're in a secondary role, but we can't lead. And I'm about, I'm all about a man leading. I want men to lead. I want to follow men who leave because I want to be protected. I want them to go ahead of me. And that's, and I'm sure people don't like that talk either, but that's me. I want them to go ahead. I want them to do the hard work. I want them to do that. But when they suck at doing it, let's try something different. Let's, you know, let's let somebody else come in and do, do better. But anyway, um, we're going to move on from that for now, but it's just a praying time, like my mom and my grandma always say. And um, just give me a time when it's not a praying time. So, all right. So, hello from the bonnet. I hate to be coming on the internet with my bonnet. I said I was going to stop doing that in 2024, but let's just be real. I got to have a bonnet on my head. So, um, lots of rambling, as always. Lots of rambling over here. 
letting me put away this laundry because I hate doing laundry. I do it every week and I hate it. If I could, I know I can hire someone to do my laundry, but I get weirded out with people touching like my intimate pieces and clothing. Um, like I could, I could, there's a place locally that I could take my laundry to. I think it's in the back of the cleaners. I think that's something that a secondary thing that they do. They will do your laundry. They will launder everything, you know, wash it, steam it, fold it, do whatever. But then I, like I said, I have to physically take it there and drag clothes. I'm not doing that either. Um, I could have someone come in like, my housekeeper to do my laundry, but then I get weirded out with people touching my intimate pieces. So, so I guess I'm doing the laundry. Okay. Um, what y'all been up to? I hope you're well, love you. Let me get something to eat and I will check back in in a little bit. y'all look at my bacon this is ridiculous i tried to still eat it right here that it's like a burnt brick and it's turkey bacon turkey bacon chipotle you don't get crispy They're done with the doctor. Um, he said that my scar could take about a year. Um, scar healing takes about a year to break down and to get the scar tissue completely like flattened and realigned. Um, even though it looks better on the outside and the inside, like underneath the scar tissue, it is it's still hard. And he wants me just to keep working on that three times a day. Um, he wants me to move toward aloe. I've been doing like cocoa butter for the coloring and some other essential oils. But he wants me to make sure I get aloe in there. Because aloe is going to break down the scar tissue from the inside out. Um, my hair got frizzy. So I definitely need to do that. And then... That's, that's it. My mobility is good. He said I'm doing really good for six weeks. Um, I need to continue to work on bringing my be able to bring my thumb all the way up. You see, it's still kind of curved, but it needs to be straight up like that. So 
I got a who it hurts. I got to keep pushing it, kind of pushing it back, doing my exercises to be able to push it back. I don't feel any triggering on my finger. Like it used to click, like this one still does because I need to get this one done, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to get surgery on that hand. And this one was the worst. And this one really hurt. Anywho. I need to. I want to stop. And I need to go to like a Target. Because I need to get those vitamin E. But I want to. get. I need some face wash. Um, I want to change up my face wash. I probably should have did this during the Sephora sale. But I wasn't really thinking. I wasn't ready. I had to use up what I had. I need to change my face wash and um, maybe get some more face moisturizer cream. I need to do that um, like a daily moisturizer cream that I can do put on like while I'm at school because my face gets dry during the day too. Um, when I'm in the building with the kids, I don't know if it's the like HVAC system but I like get dry I'll really dry during the day and like I don't put like regular lotion on my face so I need something that I can put on my face during the day and I just need a target run alright persons over here watching me vlog of course so let's I'm in a place I don't even know where I am. He's far, 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 far from my house. Um, so I need to figure out exactly where I am and what's close by. Hi, what can I get for you? Um, can I have the four piece strip? Mm -hmm. Is that the meal or just the entree? Just the entree. Are there spicy strips? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then can I have a medium? Do you have cherry coat? Oh, uh, we do. A medium cherry coat, white eyes, please. Mm -hmm. um, and that's it. Any sauces? No. All right, so it's just a four cap chicken strip and a medium cherry coke light ice? Yes. What's the name for the order? Bonita, B-O-N-I-T-A. All right. Your total is going to be 974. Thank you. Okay. Found the Target and the Chick-fil-A. Let's go that down right quick. Um, hopefully I'm not too close to this car. This car don't hit me. These parking spaces are. All right, let's go to Target. Wild berry, 
strawberry, wild berry, blueberry, and raspberry. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I lost footage. I lost my last footage. Um, I did a whole skincare routine and it's not there on my SD card, so I don't know where it is. I must have deleted it by accident when I was transferring. So I got my hair done today. Um, it's Saturday. I got my hair done, and now Honey and I are having an ice cream date. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.